Hello and welcome to Endless Mode, I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And we're getting ready to play uh, Dandara? Yeah! Uh, I haven't actually heard of this one. Yeah, an indie game I picked up on semi-random. That looked interesting, cool protagonist. Not something I've ever heard of before, so... That is one nice thing about how uh, new the Switch library is, is you can kind of look through there and find, you know, just something random. Yeah. Uh-oh. A golden idea. Oh, crap. They invented money. <laughs> I, that that actually tracks. Oh, Gorgeous right. pixel art, though. Oh, yeah. No, this is great. I like that scarf. All right. So... Use the stick to point to where you're going to jump to. So that's what those aim lines are. Yeah. Okay. I played probably about five minutes just to get myself oriented with the controls. Definitely good that they have sort of an intro sequence there. Yeah, um, definitely. Because, yeah, I, I definitely would have launched myself into space immediately without something to clue me in, I guess. <laughs> No spikes. spikes. Spikes bad. Oh, and they keep going. Yeah. They just sort of slowly march across the stage. And that's a campsite. These are your save points and upgrade areas. Not that we have anything to... any currency to upgrade with. Sure. So are the light parts on this stage the only parts you can land on? Yes. There are specific spots you land on. Ah. Uh, let's see. Palmer's track. Oh, it looks like there's a chest in the middle of the ground up there. That's strange. <laughs> if you hit any of the green patches, would you go through them? Oh, uh, you can't land on them at all. Oh. Uh, okay. Hmm. I was wondering if there was some kind of phase through solid matter going on here, but... Well, that might be a power we get later. Or that part of the stage might open up later. I mean... Alright. Like how in Kirby you'd uh, unlock parts of the stage by beating stuff. So we can't go through the brambles. Must... Well, let's try shooting it. You do have an attack in this game. You shoot arrows, but they do have a charge up time. Like a mega buster. Yeah. Alright. So, what's over here? Okay, so you can move and you can shoot. <laughs> yeah, move and shoot, man. That doesn't seem to have helped any, though, so. Who knows? When I was warming up, I played through the, uh... There were two paths I could have picked right off the bat, and I went through the other one, so maybe that was the correct Maybe that choice. was the right way. <laughs> you guessed right. Well, you know. I don't know, this seems like the sort of thing where there's probably more than one way to get where you're going. True. You say, that doesn't look that like a friend. Bad, you know. <laughs> Execution well, I don't style. know if he's a friend or not, but... He ain't around anymore. <laughs> Don't know what he was. Keyword is was. So is aiming the weapons just pretty much the same as aiming the gun? Yeah, it's or like the, a... the jump power? Yeah. Only you don't have guidelines. And they can phase through solid matter. I see that. So it's kind of like a twin stick shooter a little bit. A little bit. With a really neat movement mechanic. Whoa! Ow! Ooh! Uh, it does give a sense of speed whenever you move. It's all very decisive. Yeah. Okay, so... Since the movement's kind of binary, you either go or don't go. <laughs> uh, do or do not. There is no try. Ooh! Well, that's a thing. 
Yeah, cool. he'll be. Cool glowy thing. Milton, poison stings. Alright. I have no idea what that means. Uh. Maybe the campsite will let you unlock something with it? Maybe. Did your gun change at all? Not as far as I can tell, but I haven't shot anything with it. And they seem to explode on a single hit, so who knows? Hard to tell, yeah. Do you have to charge it up all the way when you shoot? Yes. Interesting choice there. I get the feeling it's supposed to be deliberate. Oh, I'm certain. Alright. Oh. What do I do with these? I think the answer is nothing. Alright. They just look cool. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, the spikes even pop up in areas that you can't, uh... Do I rotate it? How do I... Alright. What do we got in here? It's a thing. Looks like you're shooting Arrow thing. of Freedom. A new burst of Dandrar's purpose will ignite. Nice. Alright. Oh, more I think it upgraded my bullets. Yeah. I think you shoot more of them now. To a longer range, yeah. Neat. Unfortunately, uh, still stuck. Can you go straight across? Uh, not out of range. Oh, there's a range, too. Yeah. Okay, so, backtracking. Metroidvania rules. Oh, yeah. I was definitely playing with a lot of concepts here. It's really neat, though. I like the minimalistic music choice, too, for the sort of somber, serene forest you're in. Oh, yeah. Kind of curious if there's, like, a... Hello. If there's any kind of big what fight. What was that? <clears throat> oh, oh, no! I was about to say, I'm curious if there's any kind of big fight with the music will do. <laughs> Well, they done darn killed me. There was a lot of them. I don't think you should feel bad about that. Alrighty. Hooray! Did you get save. to keep your better bullets? Yes. Yay. Oh, should we should stubborn. we add should we add roguelike to the buzzword bingo that we're playing? Oh no. Roguelike means things are randomized. Oh. But you know what I mean, the, the the death portion. Oh, yeah. Nah, should be alright. Let's see. Let's go kill those bees. I'm pretty sure that was a boss fight. I was just joking that, you know, reviewers and stuff always try and... Well, I mean, it's hard to describe an experience other than relating it to another experience. Oh, yeah. And so, you know, like, everything being like the Dark Souls of something, or... Oh, it's a Metroidvania, or a roguelike. Like, those words literally only have meaning in the context uh -oh. of the other game. <laughs> or other, you know, franchise, or genre. Oh! <laughs> you jerks. Hey, look, there's a ghost of me. Oh! Come back. Dangerous. Here, uh, what was that? My last memory. Oh, <laughs> so that one that you picked up earlier was somebody else's, I guess, maybe. Maybe. And That's... it said like poison sting, I think. I got killed by bees. Mm -hmm. Well, That's okay. Interesting. That's a thing. I'm not sure what recovering your old self did, but. Me neither. Probably good. I mean, it gave me my ouch. Gave me my health back. Got those oh. guys over there. There 
is a lot to keep track of. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in terms of how the moving and shooting work. I, I can see accidentally, like, launching yourself at bad guys because you meant to shoot, and vice versa. Oh, yeah. Like, in a panicked moment. Unfortunately, I don't think my bullets gave me any new mo uh... It just gave me better combat. Ah. Uh -huh. But I got all my salt back. So. Is that the, the currency of the game? Yeah. Ah. Don't know why, though. Maybe it's because of the extreme difficulty of the game. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. The Village of Artists. Okay, that's neat. There's a small painting on the floor, unlit. It's difficult to make out its shapes. Interesting. Oops. Oh no, you're being attacked by somebody's OC Do Not Steal. Because it's the thing of artists. Oh, right. Paint well. Is this where the paint's stored, or is this, like, a good painting? Good question. Ooh, what's this? That's a map. I was probably supposed to go here first. <laughs> yep. That's a map. Well, at least all the progress that you made is recorded on it already. Yeah, that's handy. So... Still alive. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, everything's got an electrical current going through it. Yeah. That's novel. It even seems to light up all the little, like, squiggly street lamps or whatever those are. They kind of remind me of one of the weird light options for the, uh,. The Game Boy Advance. Oh, yeah. The, uh, like, worm light or whatever it was where you could adjust the little goofy neck. Essence of salt. Use it close to your heart to regain your strength. Oh, healing potion. Okay. I'm ah, glad I got that. I was down to one hit. You just had to long in the footer. Nah. Oh. Kind of a puzzle boss, but yeah, that's neat. Alrighty. I mean, it was just kind of an angry door, but uh. Discount mother brain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a person. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Tarsilla. I'm assuming that's the guys with the spears that tried to stab me. Oh, neat. Oh, good I showed up then. I like their little wiggly toes. How do they get out of their house? <laughs> Oh, neat. What's that do? Oh. oh, it's a button. It moves things. That's handy. That's very cool. Oh, yeah. No, those are definitely uh, street lights because look at the. Uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah.
Oof. I like the light up painting mechanic. That's very cool. Oh yeah. All right. Uh. Yeah, no, I think you're just oh, gonna God. have to make a a quick dash. I'm wondering if there's anything further down that hole. <laughs> right. A music box, huh? All right. I bet you meet somebody else and they have to activate all the music box. But that would make sense. I'm not gonna lie. This is definitely a game I wouldn't mind seeing speed run. <sighs> Just because you know that the the zipline fashion of movement would be just oh, really yeah. cool to see at like that crazy hyper speed. Hmm. Whew. Are you able to shoot in midair? No. Oh. Well, I haven't been in midair long enough to check, honestly. That's fair. <clears throat> well, it helps to have a map. Alright. That's a cow. It is a cow. That's a dead end. For now. Yeah, sure. Yeah. The village center. Ooh, we're getting my health back. It's that graffiti thing on the background there. Does it look like a cupcake to you, or is it just me? Uh, yeah, that looks like a cupcake. Or possibly a butt. Yeah, I gave back my health potion, too. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah. So your consumable items are refillable as well. It's the Dark Souls of Metroidvania platforming twin stick shooters. <clears throat> oh, that's some weird salad. It's a Soulsvania like. <laughs> Hey, that's my buzzword. Don't you guys at IGN go taking that without telling me. <coughs> at least credit me. Someone in the comments is going to be like, actually, they've been using that for the last six months, and you just don't read enough IGN articles. I mean... To which I'll say, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I really only lead, read uh, gaming websites once nerds start get really mad at it. So that you understand why there's people howling and braying into the night. Basically. I do appreciate a bit of context for whatever for whatever everyone's angry on. Ouch. Jerk. No. Uh -oh. No. Dang it. They're throwing like tiny planetoids at you or something. So, have any of the boxes contained anything besides just the, the money of the game? Not yet. I'm just curious. But as long as there's one trash can left unexplored, I'm definitely going to take a look. Oh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> I blame Lieutenant Sir. Uh, his Pokemon stage had the trash can that had a... I think it was his. Or was it the one on the SSN? I the think it was on the SSN. The original Pokemon game had a single trash can that had an item in it, and now I am forever damned to check every trash can in a Pokemon game. It is my curse. <laughs> Problem is, I don't know what weighs up on this on this map. <laughs> or is it, it always up? I was going to say, the stage seems to reorient itself so that up is up. So... 
I would I hope that the map has the the same courtesy. Another music box. We can find our music friend. Like their SoundCloud. I have to stop. There we go. Main Avenue. I'm gonna be honest, without that map, I would have no idea if we were going in a big circle or not. Uh, to be honest, I still don't know. <laughs> Ouch. Huh. After you get hit by them, you get knocked in the air a little bit, and you're able to shoot from that position, are you? Yeah. It helps you not chain too much damage together, I suppose. Which is good. The game seems hard enough without punishing you repeatedly for the same mistake. Hmm. Would like another health potion or something. Or campsite. <laughs> or teleport back to the campsite. You know, anything would work. Oh, uh, naturally. You've activated their trap card. I don't even I don't even think you have to hit anywhere specific, you just have to not get hit by stuff and keep shooting it. Oh yeah. Tired out. Well, it's plum tucker. Oh okay. Phew. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, didn't do just didn't do so bad. Piano alley, music box. All right, that's a dead end. Well, that looks like a thing. Yeah, not sure what you're supposed to do with that. I have to figure out some way to use these cannon duties, I think. That seems to be a transitional mechanic. Oh. You know, like the old Metroid elevators. Oh, yeah. And we're getting stuck on a lot of stuff in the original Metroid, just because <clears throat> hey, it didn't really explain its movement mechanics. This might be him. Tomaz. Oh no. Well, I jumped. And I jumped and I jumped. Lots of jumping. Alright. Whoa. That's a thing. <laughs> One man band. Okay. So. Music boxes are active. Nice. I've really got to backtrack to some of these earlier stages. It's you know, true. collect Metroid things. Uh, yeah, that. I like the funky little music notes that follow you. Yeah. I kind of got to go up here. Yeah, they put a lot of thought into the, the visual, making it all tie together good. Well, that's just that guy. Oh, that was a shortcut back. Which I appreciate, but not especially at this moment. And that's still that. Alright, well, next time on In This Mode, we might be looking at another Nindy game. We might keep playing more of this. Who knows? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll catch you later. Now to find a save point.